all right guys it just got done raining on my way here showed a 15 percent chance of rain today about a mile down the road from the house it poured for about 10 minutes really hard and now it's clear but i still hear thunder and i'm afraid it could come again it's just kind of sp sp uh, sp scattered uh, what i'm doing today is waiting with everything waterproof i'm really light again one pole i got nine spare lures in a plastic box with my cigarettes and lighter and just spare batteries for the camera pliers in my pocket the box itself is waterproof and then I have that inside a gallon Ziploc bag that's zippered and I have that Ziploc bag inside a rubber waterproof bag and then I have that inside my backpack so it's triple waterproof and what I'm doing is just getting in the water and waiting it did murky up just a tiny, tiny bit, which it's looking like. I'm trying to get on a pickerel, goggle eye, smallmouth, whatever. All right now I'm starting out with a brown, it's called tobacco spit, three inch grub that is made right here near my home. Like so, it's called tobacco spit. We got a goggle eye, all right, on the tobacco spit grub. And I gotta be careful here because my pole, I gotta hold it in my armpit. That's a nice, that's a nice little goggle eye. He's not big, but it's decent. I will take him. This is the exact same hole I caught him at two years ago. Indeed. Alright guys, I'm going to get him back in. Small mouth and pickerel. That's what I'm wanting. Now that we know this lure works, I feel better. No one will hit it. Ooh, I had another one. There's more than one sitting over there, apparently. There we go. Got him. Got the same fish again, I think. All right. It is a. I would say it's a largemouth up this far, but I could be. No, it's a spotted. Boy, he's way up, up river, big time. They're usually not in this river till about four miles down where they start. But once in a while, one will make his way up here, I guess. Got him on that tobacco spit three inch grub again. All right, guys, it's a little fish, but I don't care. Take it. Anything's adding up and I'm getting diversity again. So we have a goggle eye and a spotted bass. All right, let's see if there's more in here. This time of the year, anywhere these cold springs come in, they are just stacked in them, especially the, the hole after. And then the last hole of the spring that's actually a hole there just i could probably sit here and catch five six fish hopefully because i only had one of those tobacco spit grubs left i'm wanting to save it i got two of these with me also they're pre-rigged johnson which is the company that makes beetle spins and grubs it's half pink half white with a 1 8 ounce half pink half white jig head just trying something new they come in little five packs for about two dollars be a good little creek bait I think it 
it's nice and cool below here compared to other spots of the river. So, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a small mouth in here for sure. And it's definitely gone alive with territory. Oh my goodness. There's no reason I shouldn't catch fish here, guys. It's on. Oh man. I'm gonna absolutely slaughter them here. According by the looks of it anyway. I really do think I can. Oh yeah, smallmouth. First cast. Nice one. Got him on the pink Johnson. A little pink Johnson paddle tail, a little two inch paddle tail. Awesome, smallmouth love pink. He was exactly where I knew he'd be, right below that grass. About 11 inches. Boy, I hope these don't tear up. I got one more of these too. Good little bait. Not bad. I'll take them all day. Not giants, but it's not that bad of a fish. I've officially gotten goggle eye, spotted bass, and smallmouth. Now I need largemouth and pickerel and crappie. Striped shine or some different sunfish, panfish. I'm already racking up the buffet though, guys. I'm gonna turn him loose over here so he don't go tell everybody. All right, buddy. Wow, good looking hole, man. It's not even that deep, but it's full of big boulders and it drops down a lot right here. I got a steep gradient full of cooler water. Almost guarantee there's a small mouth in this little pocket right here. Like I said, <clears throat> I knew it. Told you guys, there was a small mouth in that little pocket right there. Once again on the pink Johnson. It's a small one, but it's a fish. Let's armpit that pole. And like I said, I got pliers in my pocket for easy access. So I didn't need them, but they will be there. All right, guys. Nice little, cute little smallmouth anyway, I should say. All right. There we go. Small mouth. All right, another little one, but it's small mouth. Getting good species. No rough fish today, not up here. I should have brought the whole five pack of these if I would have known they was gonna work that good. I was just kind of trying them out. Little bitty guy again, little eight incher. But this is a lot of fun, guys. In the heat of the summer, this is the way to fish, is to get in the water with them. That way you remain cool. Who had another one? Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, I got something nice here, guys. Real nice. Oh, big smallmouth for here. Oh, yeah. He's about 13. Goodness gracious. I want to get out of this water for a minute. Now, that's a nice smallmouth. That's what I came after right there. I told you guys five minutes ago, or 10 minutes ago, when I got to this hole, this is going to be the hole. I said things are gonna change here. Sure enough, they did. I've been on fish nonstop. Wow. Now that's a smallmouth. Nice little creek smallmouth anyway. Boy, and this lure will not make it very much longer. I got one more. One more of those, one more tobacco spit grub, one missile, 
shock wave one white curly tail and then it's crankbait time not a bad little small mouth take him You don't go say a word, okay, buddy? About 12. Any second now. Yep. Oh, got off again. Oh, there he is. Got it. Another nice one. We got a smallmouth. This seems to be a typical smallmouth hole because it's one of the cooler, deeper holes with lots of boulders. This is a, one of the best holes in this river. And luckily nobody fishes here, really. All right, is that me? So shh. All right, guys, another little one, actually. He's about eight or nine. Got him. I just let it fall in the current that time. Didn't even wasn't even reeling it when he hit it. Alright, another. He's about 11. 10 or 11. So far I've not needed the pliers once. Amen to that. But I'd say in the next three or four minutes, it's lure changing time. This thing is getting ruined quick. Really quick. All right, guys, another smallmouth. There he is. Oh, he got off. Imagine that. See, there's advantages to using a single hook in this wading situation and a crankbait. Problem with the crankbait is you gotta use pliers a lot. This, I can usually get them off the hook without needing pliers. It's quicker, but they'll bite the tail off. All right, guys, we have that bandit. 200 brown crawdad with an orange belly crankbait on. Me and her each caught a nice walleye in the last month on this. I've caught goggle eyes, smallmouth, largemouth, catfish, this trout, rainbow trout. This thing literally catches everything. It is a one of my favorite lures that right now in the last month. I've bought about six of these things now. They work that good in these clear cold rocky streams and obviously one of my biggest tips i can give you guys on fishing for smallmouth is a smallmouth's diet consists 70 percent of crawfish so that tells you exactly what to use brown brown and orange crawdad imitation lures to get a lot of smallmouth I guarantee I catch four or five more fish in this hole now just by using this lure. There we go. Goggle eye, yes, nice one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and the bandit. I was starting to want to change this lure, but never mind. You catch less fish, but they're better quality. It keeps those little dinks off. My goodness. Well, I have officially got what I came for, guys. That's a nice goggle eye right there. I actually got out of the water to make sure he didn't fall in. Not bad at all. That's a nice one. He's about seven. Almost eight. Yes. 
he is fat too. He's really thick. He's been eating. He's been eating good, guys. Wow. Yes. Look at that. Now that's awesome. It finally paid off. It took me about 10 minutes to catch a fish on it, or longer. I ain't getting near as many fish. But as you can see, the quality makes it all worth it. That's a nice goggle eye. There we go. Now they're goggle eye guys, three of them. That's the be best I've done for these in a long time. It, this whole year, I've never caught three keepers. I've gotten two in one day, but not three. All of them keepers. Wow. He's the smallest one of the day and he's still seven inches. Nice little goggle One of my favorite fish to catch. Yes. Three of them today, guys. But that was my main species of concern, so it worked out for once. That is so cool. Let's see if there's another one in that same spot. You never know really long deep hole. I should do really good at the beginning of this hole for small now and as I walk through it for other species, not the line. Large mouth. I should definitely hammer a small mouth or two right here. Oh boy. Yep. As soon as it hit the water. All right, a stripe of China, guys. Once again, I'm getting all of them different weird species. Wow. Stripe of China on the crankbait. That's really cool. go there we go a little better I think I got a goggle eye again maybe yes it is four keeper goggle eyes guys four keeper goggle eyes wow oh on that crankbait again that's four keepers State law in Missouri is they have to be at least seven inches. I've caught two seven inchers and two eight inchers, and I'm just judging by looks. I didn't measure them, but when they're that small, I can usually be pretty accurate. Nice little goggle eye again. Heck yeah, right on that tree's where they're at. They're all on that wood. Both fish on that wood. I officially had a good day. Not bad. I probably scared them now, though. It's the one bad thing. I've made too much noise. 
just hooked into a channel cat. I thought I had me a nice pickerel by how hard it was fighting. But it is a different kind. That's pretty cool. On that crankbait, he was in some really, really calm water. Silt bottomed. That explains it. I'm gonna have to get out. I'm gonna have to completely get my pliers out of my pocket here. Not a bad little guy for a little creek anyway. There ain't really no big channel cats in here until about 10 miles down the river. And they start getting bigger, but up here it's even a rarity just to get one. Pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool guys right when I turned the camera off and started walking back up I just started casting as I was walking and it was like three casts after I had shut the camera off channel oh there went my rod and reel in the dang water it slipped out of my armpit shucks man i'm gonna have to oil this thing when i get home now ah uh, man goodness gracious i just oiled this thing and sprayed it with real magic oh that's gone now